It is 6.02 and breaking overnight, a fugitive wanted for the killing of a police officer in North Carolina has been captured in Rhode Island. It happened at about 2 o'clock this morning. Only Ibanez News was on the scene as police in Coventry arrested this man, 23-year-old Irving Fenner. He was actually spotted first in Providence last night, which then sparked a massive search. The suspect, we're told, is now being treated for a gunshot wound. Let's get right out to Ibanez News reporter Julian Pixoto. She's live in Coventry and had an exclusive interview with state police. A days-long manhunt came to an end this morning. Irving Fenner is accused of shooting and killing a North Carolina cop on Saturday, and he's been on the run since then. This morning, police found him hiding in this Coventry home. It's a really good day for law enforcement taking an animal off the street. Early Wednesday morning, Rhode Island State Police, FBI, Coventry Police, and U.S. Marshals closed in on a quiet Coventry street, taking 23-year-old Irving Fenner into custody. It's been a long period of time where the detectives and the FBI agents all cultivated information, pretty good police work tracking him here, and they surrounded the house and they talked him out. He surrendered and he came out peacefully. Tuesday night, police arrested three people, including Fenner's half-sister in Providence. Police arrested more suspects Wednesday morning on Tioga Avenue. Uh, two other suspects were arrested here that will be charging them eventually with harboring this person. Fenner is accused of murdering North Carolina police officer Tim Brackeen. The 38-year-old father served with the Shelby Police Department for 12 years. At the end of the day, the, um, the FBI and the state police a major reached out to the family and also Shelby Police Department and let them know. So as tragic as it is, the family knows that the suspect that's being charged or will be charged with the murder will be held accountable and held as a fugitive and hopefully transported back to North Carolina to have justice served. Fenner was taken to the hospital for a gunshot wound. It's a good day for law enforcement and taking someone that took a police officer's life off the street. Fenner was wanted on outstanding warrants in Shelby, North Carolina for kidnapping, burglary and robbery with a dangerous weapon. He's also now being charged with first degree murder. Now, I just got off the phone with nurses over at Rhode Island Hospital. They would only say that Fenner is currently being treated. They wouldn't comment on his current condition, but stay with Eyewitness News for all the latest on this case. Live in Coventry with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News. Now a story that we uh, first broke overnight on WPRI.com. Local police have captured a man wanted for the shooting death of a North Carolina police officer. Only Eyewitness News was in Coventry where the suspect was taken into custody overnight. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Pixoto joining us live with more details on other arrests police have made in this case. Good morning. I, Eyewitness News was the only one here after the days-long manhunt that started in North Carolina ended here in Coventry. Police say they found 23-year-old Irving Fenner hiding in this home here at 304 Tioga Avenue. Fenner is accused of shooting and killing North Carolina police officer Tim Brackeen on Saturday. Brackeen was named Officer of the Year four years ago. Fenner has been on the run since Saturday and was spotted in Providence last night. Police arrested three people yesterday, including Fenner's half-sister. Those suspects are New York resident Casey Fenner, North Carolina resident Deetra Morris, and Rhode Island resident Jalisa Peeler. All three were charged with accessory after the fact of first degree murder. This is a Class C felony. Fenner was taken to Rhode Island Hospital after he was arrested this morning. They surrounded the house and they talked him out. He surrendered and he came out peacefully. He's left. He's being treated at the hospital for a gunshot wound that he has. Two other suspects were arrested here that will be charging them eventually with harboring this person. Again, only eyewitness news was here on scene after Fenner was recaptured. Coming up at the top of the hour over on Fox Providence, we have much more exclusive video and information from police you'll see only on eyewitness news. Live in Coventry with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, eyewitness news.